Hey, what's up guys? Uh, welcome to today's video and we are back today with a full explanation of the whole metal inf infestation um, side quest. It's going to be the totals of spider bots, what that can get you and then sort of how best to go through each of these paths, what they um, what they do. So do excuse me, I am um, quite close to uh, you know, a road. So if you can hear the, the cars outside, then I do apologize. But obviously, um, hopefully that shouldn't be too big an issue. So let's talk about how you get in. So first you need to go into the uh, web slinger event, I believe it is. You want to collect uh, a seize device, Stark Enhanced Insect Zapper device. You get these for uh, one every 100 um, uh, points in this one. To get points, you need to you get 10 points for winning with us hashtag spiderverse tag champ five points for defeating a metal tag champ and five points for a robot tag champ so if you can get a robot and metal that counts as 10 points using a spiderverse tag champ that means that you're uh, taking 20 each each fight so you need these to enter this this uh quest one seize device can enter uh, any of the quests that is the way that um that's sort of the way that's designed so that in uh, that aspect it's really quite nice you can um, go through any difficulty meaning you can pick up any amount of rewards i will uh, right now grab a um a spreadsheet up on the screen it will show you all of the the values for um each fight and then um how many you get in one exploration or one completion and then we'll have how many total there are so i believe there are um seven fights and in total there are around um if i can this eventually loads um i think there are about 18 of the metal infestation um seize device seize devices that you need to pick up to enter so in theory that should give you quite a lot of metal inf uh, spider bots to then go into the store and then go to the spider exchange you can see here there's some quite nice things um all sorts of good stuff you know you can you can uh you're able to get eight of these so 1600 seven star shards um then you've got four of these so that's 20 percent of a tier six class catalyst just lo loads of good stuff as a, uh, this is all as a paragon so each you know each level will have different things you just gotta go check in your store and see what there is um we'll jump into now what the spreadsheet says of how many there are and then we'll jump into the fights um a little bit after Here we are with the spreadsheet total of 18 total entries at the end there so you can see each threat level you get a different amount of spider bots all these numbers are how many spider bots you do get for each fight so the first two fights of threat level five you get ten thousand. uh third fight goes up same and then three and four are the same then five and six are the same and then seven goes up almost double the amount it's giving you a total of eighty five thousand four hundred and seventy two every single time you complete a um a metal infestation threat level um fight or quest giving you a total that eighty five thousand times 18 gives you a total of one million five hundred and thirty eight thousand four hundred and ninety six spider bots which you can then take into the store and um sort of use what you wish to buy you know there's a lot of nice stuff in there there is those seven star shards there is six star shards in there also um that maybe isn't quite the caliber of rewards that we would have liked to have seen you know maybe 500 seven star shards giving you a max of 4k seven stars would probably be a bit kinder i think 1600 in the grand scheme of um in the grand scheme of it being uh 15k for a seven star crystal is is quite tight um uh, apologies for that that was quite a loud car uh quite tight from kabam but hopefully we'll see a little bit more uh in here that that would be quite interesting so they're the totals do screenshot on screen now all threat levels are there all total inch uh, for all of them are there so um so yeah let's jump back into the game so you can see that the store did have a lot to offer there as well um, as I mentioned, you know, here's your, you can get four of these for 5k, so that gives you a total of 20k in your, um, of six stars. Some little bits here and there, you know, I don't know, as I said, I don't know exactly how I feel about all of this yet. 
I think for me it'll be a bit of a six star uh, shard grind for some new featured champs as I really quite like um, some of them and then it uh, other than that it'll be a bit of a seven star grind so now we're going to jump into these fights looking at um, Seaton's recent video uh, there are some champions you need if you hit the preview button um, there won't be many champs that you can see. You can see that they're all, um, it's almost one of each class. You do, one thing you absolutely do need is a champ who puts lots of bleeds on. Uh, this is because uh, one of the nodes in particular needs a skilled champ who puts a lot of bleeds on. Um, when the, there it is, when the, while the defender is bleeding, the attacker's attack rating is increased by 200% and bleed debuffs and passes still 25%. And the defender doesn't take any without bleeds on. So uh, bleeds is absolutely essential. The champions are rotating. I've seen Spidey Supreme in here. So remember maybe a miss counter if you can. I've seen Kingpin. So bringing in that um, real high tier uh, mutant champ can help. But just try and bring in the best that you can. So for me, I'm going to try and bring in Herc. I'm going to bring in uh, Black Panther for my uh, bleed champ. I'm then going to bring in Kitty Pride. Quicksilver as my um, as my science champ, and then really, I think I'm gonna go with um, Rintra just in case there's those champs with the annoying buffs. You can see there is one skill there. Um, there are two Mystics, so maybe another. Um, hopefully, he can help me go through that fight. But that is sort of what it is. So we'll just do this first fight. Show you guys that the um, the spreadsheet is in fact correct. You do get 10k for the first, and. Um, and yeah, that'll do it for the video. So it is really just a full explanation, a full breakdown of what we've got. You can see some of the champs here. So Tricky Champs, Spider-Man 2099, a good, um, maybe Mole Man would have been a better choice from me to get somebody who's an evade counter. We've got Mysterio in there. So uh, got to be really careful that I don't get hit by his annoying SP1 or SP2. Venom, I've got a very great counter for Venom in Rintra, and Kate Bishop's that only other one who may be a little bit tricky. So let's take out this um, this Venom real quick, and then hopefully this video has helped you guys out. I know when I first saw the Metal Infestation, um, I was a little bit confused as to why, um, like where the rewards were, how come there weren't any rewards. Uh, so hopefully this video has helped you guys out to see what sort of champs are best uh, in you know, which champs are in the rotation, you know, as I've mentioned, there's a Spidey Supreme, there's a Kingpin, you can see there's Mysterio, so just you've really got to be um, careful for those real top tier defenders who you might struggle against if you're, um, if you do struggle against those champs, like for me, Mysterio is a really tricky one, I do sometimes um, struggle against him, get hit by his annoying um, poison, and then that can drown quite a lot of damage for me, I would say that, um, a good counter for for him is is very useful. The same with say a Spidey twenty ninety nine or sorry a Spidey Supreme. He can be very annoying just because you've got that um, you've got that annoying uh, miss or him going invisible sometimes when you hit straight into him. So yeah, quite a few uh, little things to think about for this um, for the side quest. You know, again, I do want to apologise for the noise. Like I know that is. It is really quite annoying. If you can't hear it, then uh, that's perfect. You know, that's really good for me. But if you can, again, I do just want to um, reiterate that. I, I'm quite sorry for that. It's just the annoyance of the room that I'm in trying to get this video out. You know, I'm pretty hectic at work. So right by the uh, right by the road here trying to get this video out for you guys. I know, I know it's a little bit late after my video from yesterday saying that I'll try and get one out one a day. But... As I just mentioned, uh, quite a hectic week this week, trying to get everything sorted. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. That Venom is done. You'll see now, if I go in here, the 10k Spidey spider bots are there and can be exchanged in the store. So hopefully this video has helped you out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.